Good morning everybody and uh, welcome to Bedgallet, which is a beautiful place in the heart of Snowdonia, surrounded by mountains, rivers and a couple of noisy vloggers. Um, so we're on a walk today. I'm going to introduce you to somebody in a second. Uh, he's just taking a photograph down there. Um, and we're just going to have a, a walk around here. We're going to go to a lake and up the mountain and just take some photographs and just try and show you how beautiful this whole area is. But Ben's taking photographs. He's a much better photographer than I am. Um, no. Hoping while we're out, he's going to give me some pointers and make me a pro just on this one walk. Um, but all in all, I'd say the lighting is pretty bad today. Um, yeah, it's really dark, but it's also blown out in the sky. So um, don't have my ND filter on either. So you might just see a white sky everywhere. But it's gorgeous. Seriously, I think, I think you'll be fine. <laughs> it is gorgeous. Um, so just to introduce Ben properly, this is Ben J. Lester. Hiya. Um, he's got a YouTube channel, uh, which he's starting out, which is vlog based but about landscape photography and just general photographic yeah. stuff um, so largely what I'm turning my channel into after the travel exploits and um, so follow him along I'll tag his channel underneath in the description so give him a subscribe and a like um, and uh, yeah he's a he's a really good photographer I've seen some of his shots and they are absolutely Thanks. amazing <laughs> So I just started filming this horse in the field and as I'm filming him in a little bit of slow motion he just starts having a massive poo. <laughs> so sorry about that. I'm still gonna use the shock, it's hilarious, but this horse lives in heaven though. He's just got the mountains behind him, he's got all of his other little oh Shetland ponies as well running around. Um just amazing. Oh and there's a little goose here. Look at this guy. There you go, come to Wales. Not only is it mountains, lakes and beauty, but also animals and two, as I said before, really annoying vloggers disturbing the peace for everybody. Okay, so this walk, as you come out of Bedgallet village, um, you kind of just walk, follow the river down, you come along the stone path that we just came along there, and then you come up to this bit where it's just a, little walkway um, and a little road but as you come off towards the end of this road you just get the reward for you know walking the mile I guess it is <laughs> um, and you'll see in a second because you come to this lake and then beyond the lake you just get the snowy peaks of the mountain so check this out <laughs> Lies the truth about us Things time will tell We might never know We'll be gone Before it all begins Send me your songs of tomorrow I'm dying to know 
All right, so the lake is beautiful. Got the drone out. I don't know what the footage looks like. You will by now, hopefully it was good. Um, although the lighting's not great today. Um, kept getting overexposed and underexposed. Um, so it's tricky, but we're just finishing up. We're packing off the drone. So Ben's got his little <laughs> uh, Mavic Air. That's a cool gimbal cap. Yeah, it's a, it's a little less bulgy than the, the Pro one, but yeah. it's actually really hard to get off and on. It feel, I feel like I'm gonna break it. Yeah, mine's pretty crap as well. In <laughs> fact, if DJI ever watch these videos, just make better gimbal clamps that are just easier to get on and off where you don't feel like you're gonna snap the gimbal. Um, anyway, so yeah, we're packing up um, and then we're gonna head up this mountain here. Path just goes straight up there in a zigzaggy way. Um, and then once we're at the top, um, we're gonna go down to the side where there's some mine works and it comes down onto a river, which when the sun is out is gorgeous, but I'm not sure what it's gonna be like today. Um, but anyway, it's a really nice walk. It is really cold and I'm regretting not bringing gloves, uh, but live and learn. Ben said he can lend me some. Really? I thought you only had one pair. Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> Okay, he's gonna let me his, so now my manliness won't let me take them. Um, <laughs> so anyway, uh, let's carry on. And it started raining. Yeah. Yay! So how's your day going so far, Ben? <laughs> yeah, good. Well, we just got up the first few steps of the mountain. Hill, whatever you want to call it. Oh. I don't know if I'm going to make it to the top. How are you feeling? Huh? How are you feeling? Yeah. <laughs> Pretty exhausted. <laughs> but you turn around, you just get this view, and you're like, Worth it. I'd rather be here than sitting at home doing nothing. Oh. Yeah, tell me, huh? really steep but every time we stop and look around this view behind just gets better and better and better so I've just taken a shot um, a handheld shot which I've bracketed because uh, I don't have any filters on um, and I think it's gonna come out okay so it's on uh, f20 really deep just because again I don't have my filter on so I was trying to dull out the clouds um, and a 20th of a second shutter speed um, and uh, it looks okay in camera, so we'll see what it's like when I merge it, but um, I'll put that photo up now, just so you can see. Um, but fingers crossed, it's gonna be good. Anyway, let's carry on with this massive hill so we can get down the other side and enjoy the beautiful river and our snacks. Actually, I don't have any snacks left, I just ate them all at the bottom. So I'm gonna watch Ben eat his snacks at the top. <laughs> So we're probably halfway up the hill now. Um, so we've come up there, which from the lake, and now I'll spin around. And we're just heading right up to the top of that hill there. And then just behind, there's another kind of little summit, not much. And then after that, that's all of our climbing done for the day. So it's just a short blast up the hill. And then we'll go right down the other side. So I thought Ben had gone crazy because we were just walking up the hill and talking and then he just stopped and went, ah, I haven't been focusing. And now he's in a stream. I think he's taking a photo. A long exposure? It's yep. not that long actually, it's an eighth of a second. But I put it down, maybe it's not a, bad, a good idea to do it to F16. But uh, just, the, just so I can get the longest shutter speed possible. Um, because it's so fast, it's actually really easy to take <laughs> flowing water. <laughs> Try not to fall in it. Uh, but yeah, no, it's turned out to be quite smooth the water. So it doesn't matter if you put like kind of fastish speed for the shutter speed, you'll still get that flow effect.
I don't want to sound like a broken record here, but again, we stop and the view behind us is just completely different again and equally as stunning. Yeah, I, I can't amazing. I can't, uh, I can't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. Uh, thanks for taking me on the walk. Thanks for coming. Yeah, I've never had a walk like this. It's good. Yeah, so normally we vlog with our wife, girlfriend, but <laughs> neither of them are comfortable being on camera. So it's really nice actually just meeting up with somebody um, and just sharing something that we both like doing and being outside and just, again, just learning stuff together. So it's good fun. Right, if you ever want to do a collaboration with somebody, don't be afraid to kind of just message them and say, right, you know, we have the same interests like we do, don't we? It's like, yeah. we like the idea of landscapes, even if it's filming, doing photography, whatever your niche is, it's good to kind of just push through and say, do you want to do something? And uh, if they say no, what have you got to lose? So. That's a very good tip. So Ben just reached out to me on uh, Facebook. Um, I, how did you find me again? Just through one of the groups? Yeah, you posted a video of uh, somewhere near Oldham where I had just been recently and uh, it was on a page, odd group called uh, Landscape Photography YouTube UK. So I kind of just messaged her and said, you know, do you live nearby? through what's happening right now. Um, Ben's trying to balance his glide cam. So as you can see, it's a counterweight system. Um, and basically with that, you can walk relatively quickly and keep the camera bit, relatively smooth. A bit like your silky smooth 1080 120 frames per second, which Lee's been doing all of this walk and it's been amazing. Um, I can only do like half the slow-mo why we need these because it gets really 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 shaky yeah so to sum that up basically ben has a much better lens i have a better camera if we could put the two together this would be some sexy stuff but unfortunately we can't yeah. um but anyway we're seeing what we can get my hair is a mess what happened to that up it's been a nice walk not too strenuous um well depends who you speak to uh, but time to say goodbye to this gorgeous view gorgeous gorgeous view um and hello to the new view that's going to be over there waiting for us so we go from mountains to sea let's go Over the top of that mountain all the wind's gone all you can hear is yourself breathing or the odd jet plane going over it's so quiet here and just so peaceful and this is one of the the best reasons for just coming out of the city and coming into the countryside especially somewhere like Snowdonia and Wales where not only do you get perfect scenery but you can just disappear and you could just sit here and read a book if you wanted to. Granted, not today, because your pages will get wet with the rain, but you know, it's just perfect. You can't find anywhere like this around Manchester, where we're from. Um, and I think it's just a, a great way to spend a day.
and uh, told me it's six o'clock. So well, this is way later than we thought it was going to be. Makes sense though, it's going dark. Um, and it's just grim, there's no sun, so there's not going to be a sunset. Uh, I wanted to get my drone out by the river, but we're still quite a fair way from the car, so I'm not sure if I'll have time. Um, might just have to stop filming uh, now and just kind of pick up the pace of it, otherwise we're still going to be out here when it's dark. Um, and we've still got two and a half hours to get Ben home and then another uh, 40 minutes from Ben to my house, so it's going to be a really low rate one. Um, it's been an amazing day though, still really and really enjoyed it. It'd be much better if the lighting was better, but hopefully we've still got some decent shots from here. Um, this was more about me just practicing uh, some cinematic b-roll and getting to use this glide cam a bit. Uh, and then if any of the photos have come out, it's a bonus as well. You'll know by now because you'll have seen them inside the vlog. Um, but it's just been really, really nice working with somebody um, rather than just being by myself and you know putting a tripod down and walking past it. So it's just nice having somebody else to film. It's always better. Um, and yeah, hopefully we'll be doing some more shoots together in the future because ah, I just never learn. <laughs> So just as we're coming down to the last stretch, which is the river walk back to Big Gallet, uh, the rain started coming in. Uh, it's not massively heavy, but heavy enough to stop me getting my drone out. Um, and also to make me think twice about vlogging whilst walking, because it's really slippy. Um, so we're just walking through these little bits of woods and then round by the river and then to be honest, I'm not sure how much more footage I'm going to be able to get, so if I don't get any more, you might see me in the car in a bit. So I've put the big camera away, so is Ben. I got my little Canon camera out and realised there's no battery in it because I'm an idiot. So now I'm on my phone. Um, we're just down by the river. We're on our way back. The lighting is awful, so there's not going to be any decent shots to be had here. But we're just going to enjoy the scenery and uh, head back towards the car. Um, but I'll just give you a few shots of this river because it is gorgeous. Um, properly white water, loads of rock, quite dramatic um, looking waves as well. Uh, in the summer it's blue, but right now it's just uh, dark, shall we say. <laughs> So some shots of the river, quite shaky. I just can't hold my phone steady enough um, to get anything smooth. Uh, the rain's properly coming in now. Uh, so we're just gonna head back down. Uh, we're nearly back at the car now anyway, so uh, it's been a really good day. It's just really, really good day actually. So happy. Um, so thank you all for watching. If you like this, please subscribe, give us some likes dislikes if you don't like it it really makes a difference um any any constructive feedback criticism etc as well it, it's it's all accepted just just be nice um we really enjoy making this i think me and ben are going to go out again um uh, maybe every few weeks together it's just really nice having somebody to shoot with so thank you very much for watching and we will see you all very very soon for our next adventure and like I said before, Ben's channel is linked below, so check him out. Um, he's great photographer, he's got some great shots. 